Hey guys, it's your girl Kyra's Crystal Visions. Welcome newbies in betweens and OGs. Give your girl some dap, boop, cause you the dopest and we know this, okay? Didn't get to do my intro earlier cause I had a lot of things that I was doing but I had to get that message out to you guys. All right, we're gonna tap in again for some more messages that will give you clarity, confirmation, inspiration, or just guidance on your situation. Okay, babies? I am so thankful every every time that you support, you click in, you resonate, and it is a helpful source for you or helpful reading for you. Okay? All right, my baby bugs. Let's see what is going on. Okay, what is going on with my babies? What is going on? We have mirroring. Okay. So either someone is feeling the exact same way you are feeling. Okay. Or they're coming around to feeling this way. Whether this is in a job setting to where you have a boss, a manager, a supervisor, they feel the same way you feel as far as you being a true asset to this company and they adore you. So someone's gonna give you some form of a gift of appreciation, I'm hearing, okay? If you felt like you weren't being heard, you weren't being acknowledged, right? You were not being rewarded for your efforts, and you feel as though you are the best thing since sliced bread when it comes to this company, they feel the same way and they're going to reward you very, very soon or this may have already taken place. Now, when it comes to a love relationship, my babies, this person feels the same way you feel. If you are in love with this person, this person is in love with you. If you are crushing on this person, this person is crushing on you. Right? If you are like, you know what? I think our relationship has, you know, come to an end. We outgrew each other. I think it's time for us to move on and, you know, find someone that makes us both happy. It's time to go our separate ways. Then this person feels the same exact way. Right? If you are having really deep meeting of the mind conversations with your friends or y'all just you know, playing around, having fun, vibing out, drinking wine, girls night out, or bros, you know, night out. I don't know, you know, really what bros do, but just spending time with your bros, all right? Just, you know, I'm here kicking it, watching the game, and you're like, man, you just think to yourself, I love these, these men, or I love my girls. I love my bros, right? And then you probably run down a list in your mind of why. They feel the same way about you. Oh, it's so mutual. It's so mutual. You are starting to be given the same energy that you are expelling. So make sure that energy is so full of love, so full of, you know, respect, and so full of just, unconditional understanding and that is what you're going to receive in return my babies um also spirit is saying if you are thinking of truly starting something that you dreamt about since you were younger or an epiphany of an idea that has been given to you from god they're saying it is going to be more than successful so what you put in it, you will get out. Okay? So make sure you, you put your foot, your toenails, your everything in it. You feel me? Because it is going to reap so much reward for you. All right? Let's see what else. Oh, okay, two. What did I say? Abundance is near. All right? Now, some of you guys have already been putting your nose to the grind when it comes to this endeavor or this job that you're passionate about. 
because you are always looking at advancing, leveling up, being better than yesterday, competing with only self so that you can reach your highest potential. You put so much passion and love in this job, in this career, in your business. I'm trying to tell you, it is paying off for you. If this has to do with love, right? And you have been single, but you have still been positive and you have been redirecting any type of pessimistic or negative energy or negative thoughts that may come into your conscious mind. You are truly retracting them and replacing them with positive gratitude thoughts. And you're doing things throughout your day that is making you happy, whatever that is. You are pulling in, I'm hearing the greatest love of all time. Wow. And this person is going to mirror back to you all of the love, the compassion, and the support, also the peace that you're going to give, the harmony, I'm hearing, the joy that you'll exude while being with this person. This person is going to automatically reflect it right back to you. Those friendships, feeling abundant, not only in love and career, but also in your friendships too. So whatever you've been asking for, right? Working on self so that you can elevate and bring better people into your life better opportunities, better options or candidates when it comes to love. It is here. It is very near. Ooh. And if you're already in a relationship, wow, this person has so much love for you. It is overwhelming. For some of you, your person loves you more than you love them. And maybe you guys are about to hit the lotto together. You're about to start a business together. Um, some form of financial prosperity. Because if you have been in a relationship, right? Maybe off and on. Y'all had your problems. But it wasn't severe enough for you guys to like stop completely, cold-heartedly, you know, stop talking to each other and you reconciled or whatever the case may be, or you're working together to heal reconcilable differences, and you hung in there and you guys were faithful to each other and you wore off temptation, ego deaths happened, heartbreak definitely ensued, but you guys forgave, right? You healed. And I feel like, you know, you could have healed separately or together. The point of case is, you guys are now in harmony. You guys are now on the same page. Okay? You guys both feel, or soon will feel, like the best you both will ever get because you're meant for each other in this lifetime. Out here in divine union. And not only are you going to be rewarded for healing, for going to therapy for some of you guys, for forgiving, for understanding unconditionally because it's hard to do that. Knowing that everyone goes through traumas, rejections, betrayals. But because you guys went to therapy and were selfless towards each other, ego deaths happen, like I said, you're rewarded, you're gonna get a lot of money, you're gonna live the life you want or you're already in this energy. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Woo, healthy boundaries, yes. <laughs> I mean, man, all that you went through in that relationship has truly developed on both parties. Healthy boundaries, respect, loyalty, appreciation, compassion, empathy, and understanding, which helps a relationship thrive and grow. Also, you've occurred or enforced, I should say, healthy boundaries when it comes to your, I'm hearing, coworkers 
when it comes to people respecting you and what you have to offer. And they respect you for that. Your self-worth is exuding like everybody can see it at this point. And it's a beautiful thing. Inserting those boundaries with those friends that think that they can cross you or talk to you or do anything or just can run you down with their issues and problems when you have your own but they are not there to support you. Or to respect the fact that you just don't feel like talking today because maybe you're going through your own healing and your own issues. You have good friends, love options, and opportunities in career either here or coming. And it's all because you did and you keep doing the work. But yes, you are highly favored, respected, and admired at this time, baby. By, I'm hearing love options that are watching you. Your boss that is always watching you and is very, very appeased and impressed with you. I'm trying to tell you, you want to get a raise, a gift, an outing of some sort. Some of your bosses may pay for a vacation for you. But all that you've worked on internally and externally is paying off. And people are understanding why you deserve this. Even if people don't want to admit it, they know you deserve this. All right, let's get some more. Yes, the temple path. You are right where you belong. Right where you belong. And what you put into your purpose, what you put into your passion, you're going to get right out of it. You are manifesting what you want. You are right where you need to be. Let's get another one. Oh, okay. Wow. So we have man holding a coin. I'm trying to tell you. A raise, a gift of some sort, a lottery win, right? You're going to find money. Um, you're going to play something and you're going to win the jackpot. like, Or someone's going to give you a lot of money. Or all of that hard work that you've been working on on that business, right? All that hard work that you've been working on when it comes to a job. The business is going to pull in way more revenue. Or someone's going to be so generous, they're going to give you a donation because they... Uh, you changed their life. You changed people's lives man who are you and in return God always provides for you financially whether you are a masculine or a feminine you are either right now or it says in the near future about to have so much money financial freedom you won't have to worry about anything if you are looking for that man right or woman that is on your level or that can bring something to the table not just financially but ethically it's coming for others it's here and your partner is leveling up I'm hearing from being maybe a student to getting a great job a great job or like I said a um, raise or a, 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 bump up, a bump up in position I'm hearing a friend is going to want to start a business with you soul family it's going to do great this part this person has a lot of money to invest okay if you have been struggling with your finances of course with finding love of course with finding friends all of that is about to come to an end okay all of it let's get another one because you are the magician and you hold the power my baby 
you are manifesting these good relationships in your life, these good opportunities, all because you are on the right path and you did a lot of work to get there, man. And Spirit is so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. A lot of you felt stuck. A lot of you were overthinking. A lot of you were in your head. But you still kept going. You still kept putting forth the effort. You still kept wanting to heal. Kept wanting to work towards it. Kept wanting better. No matter what you stayed. As much as you could in your positive energy. Through this healing journey that you are on. Not only have you stayed positive, but you have conquered every battle and every lesson and you're actually acknowledged that lesson. You have done the hard work of expelling people, changing your situations, taking risk, knowing that Doing this all in good faith would pay off. It would pay off. Even if people were against it. Even when people throw black magic, said you couldn't do it, said you weren't worth it and you would be nothing without them. Even if you were your own biggest blockage, you have stepped out of your own way. And now you have, a, for some of you, a very wealthy man not just finances, but within uh, love. They know how to love. They're emotional intelligent. Within, of course, career. Within their spirituality. Very ascended. Very ascended being. And they too are on their path. You're mirroring each other. You're pulling in what you put out is the biggest message here. So make sure that you're manifesting what you want and make sure you're putting out in the universe every single day as much as you can, my babies, because no one is perfect and no one is happy-go-lucky all the time. But as much as you can, put out the energy that you want to come back because it's coming back. And it's coming back, I'm hearing with a vengeance, in a good way, babes. In a completely good way. So you have great love coming, great opportunities in career, or this is what you are sitting in. And can't nobody take this from you. Can't nobody take this from you. You are not being affected right now by any magic, by anyone also trying to manipulate you to think that this would never happen. You are, I'm hearing home free, you're clear. Just keep clearing your energy every day. It's the end of the heartbreak, the betrayal, the pain, the beguilement, the bamboozleisms. Because you put your foot down and enough was enough. And those that respect you stayed. Those that were never for you left. We needed to wean out those that were blocking you. We needed to make sure that the people that were around you were for you. And those that weren't, we had to get them to pluck a body here. And we know it hurt. We know it did. But we are always here for your highest good, my love. I know I put that new love reading out. But this kind of coincides. Whoever this new person is, for those that are looking for new love, oh. Finally. You're going to say finally. Everything that you've asked for. For those that are in existing connections, whether it was on and off, whether you took a break and reconciled, whether you stayed through it all, or whether you've been in this connection, I would say, you know, six months to a year, fairly new, or two years. This person is ascending, man. This person is making positive changes. This person, by breaking your heart, broke their heart, ego, death, 
whatever they did to break your heart. This person is, they can't see themselves without you. If it's not you, it's not anyone. And, and it's like, whatever we need to do, whatever we need to do, I'm down. And I hear this person saying this. Your person wants the best for you, for them, for this whole connection. Your person wants to spoil you and show you, oh, I'm hearing through material things, yes, but also they are trying to show you um, to learn how to be more affectionate, right? To be more nurturing because that's what you need for some of you guys. But what really was plaguing them was their finances and they are about to like be very wealthy or have a lot of money or be, I'm hearing either some are grandfathered into a position Okay, or they are just picked because they are the best at what they do. And it's going to be a big relief for this, for your person. It was like the missing puzzle piece. And as soon as this person started to heal, started to take accountability, started to get on their right path, started to manifest change. Change occurred. Also, righting their wrongs and making or taking action on correcting that with the intention of really wanting to, not to put on the side acting like they wanted to. Okay? Right now, ask for what you want. If you are wanting a new office, a new office space, if you are wanting whatever you are desiring, whatever makes you happy right now, right now, consistently visualize it, script it, or reread what you scripted with so much feeling. Know without a shadow of a doubt that it's here because it is, it's here. Your benevolence and God, of course, is always giving you signs of encouragement and they're lighting your way. They're lighting your way to what you're supposed to be doing in this lifetime or they're lighting your way. They're lighting your way for some of you to what direction you need to take to get to this path. For others of you, they are lighting the way while you're on this path. Oh, they will not let you fail, baby. This is positive movement forward out this BI. Okay? Let's see what else. Okay, wasting no time. We have positive, what did I just say? Positive movement forward. And then we have partnerships and alliances. Yes, you've been wanting a business partner that thinks like you, that believes in what you believe in, or that can, you know, I'm hearing pull their weight is just as idealistic, right? Determined and very encouraged to be or do something or, you know, make their life better. Live financially free. Leave a legacy, right? I'm really hearing for career right now. You're having someone come into your life that is just as passionate and driven as you are. And this is a soul family. All right? When it comes to love, like I said, it's no more of the manipulation. It's no more of the mundane. It's, this, this relationship is going to be fun. You know, you guys want to be able to be kids, right? You guys are going to be able to understand each other, healthy boundaries, you know, create abundance together in every aspect of the way. It's, <laughs> this is so beautiful. When it comes to your job, some of them want to make you a partner. You can be a lawyer at a firm. 
or they want you to partner up with them, like I said, within a business venture. You're signing contracts to become a manager, a supervisor, elevation of, of, of a position or a title. This is, this is beautiful energy. Like no more feeling rejected. No more feeling like no one loves you. No one cares. No one is hearing me. God, are you hearing me? No more. No more feeling like you are not on the right path. You're stuck. You're stagnant. Like what is next? I don't know what else. I don't know what to do. If you've been feeling that way. This is oh, beautiful. God is reminding you every day that you are victory and success. And as you exude it, so it shall actualize in your existence. You are victory and success. In whatever category of self that you are trying to be victorious at. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's get one more. Yes, solar plexus. You straighten your power, boo. We got two though. Straighten your power. And no one is going to knock you off your pedestal, I'm hearing. <laughs> but also knock you off of your square and the comfort of your throne. Do you understand me? You have worked too damn hard and ain't nobody truly at your level to do so. I'm trying to tell you, you are so mentally strong. They can't. Whoever tries to tear you down, to tear your self-esteem down, whoever tries to block you from love or tries to separate you from your partner that is meant for you, whoever tries to knock you off of your path or try to you know, throw rocks at you and hide their hand, they can't. One, you don't give a fuck, so you don't give them no attention. Two, you have worked your ass off to sit comfortably in your power. I mean, when you go around people, boo-boo, it's an energy. And everyone don't carry this energy, okay? It's that royal bad bitch or I'm, you know, the man type energy and everybody don't carry that, boo. That's why you got people wanna be your friends. I'm trying to tell you, you got people either wanted to be your friends or this is going to occur. You got people that is drooling over you, but they have yet to make the move. If you are single, if you're in a relationship, your person, oh, the more that they heal themselves, the more that they witness you healing, going after your ambitions, just living in your truth and just keeping it 100 like you always do. This person, oh, they can't be in more love with you. They really don't want you to, you know what I'm saying, talk to anybody else, but they don't want to be smothering or codependent so they understand. O-M-G, victory and success. What did I say? If you are victory and success, that's what you exude. That's what you'll actualize in your reality. I know it's hard. Have your moments. But no, you got to know that what you've asked for, you can obtain. You are obtaining. You a bad motherfucker. I'm going to be honest. And if anyone tried to tear you down because they're jealous or envious, you better not listen. You understand me? I don't care if it's your mammy or pappy. You know that you are the shit. I'm be honest. Ah, 11. You could be seeing 11, 3, 8, 3. Oh my God, we got 11 on the board, okay? Of course, we could be seeing the letter six, the letter nine, okay? And 11, 11, balanced. Man, oh, you did a lot of work. I keep hearing that you did a lot of work, man. They so proud of you. I care, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. What? 
all that moving, deleting, ignoring, blocking, elevating, changing, healing, and much more has brought you to this equilibrium of balance. And because such, all will flow equally with it. Oh my God. Yes, as I flip the top card. Spiritual prosperity and material pos... God, y'all made me cry. You waited for this. You worked for this. You deserve this. Whether you are a late bloomer or you are younger and you are coming in to this abundance and prosperity sooner than your ancestors and your relatives, your older relatives. You deserve it. This lifetime, you're here to reap your rewards. Past lifetimes, you were trying to clear karma. Man, if you're younger and you have obtained this or it's coming right now. One more spirit said, one more. Okay. Oh, harmony. Look at that. One with your partner. You know why you want to be one with your partner? Because your partner is one with themselves and you're one with yourselves. As you come together, you become one. Oh, this is beautiful. This is amazingly beautiful. You are going to have success in all areas of your life. Are you ready? Or this could already be occurring, but I'm truly feeling like if it is started, oh, you have yet to see the miracles. You have yet to see the abundance. You have yet to see the joys and the opportunities that are going to present themselves. Because it says near, abundance is near. By the Nadet, four of cups, no more boredom, discontentment, distractions. No more rejections. No more feeling sad. Like feeling alone. Feeling like you got to do it all by yourself. Feeling like, am I doing all of this in vain? Feeling like, am I ever going to find that beautiful woman that appreciates me? Or that beautiful man that appreciates me? Not changing your good heart. Don't you ever change your good heart. It's here, man. This is beautiful. Let's get an advice. Truth be told. Everything I just said was the truth. Claim it, know it, believe it, feel it. Already is here because it is. And it's coming right for you. Oh, shit. I heard, are you ready? Even if you're experiencing a lot of abundance, this is just, I'm hearing the tip of the iceberg. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. You want to be able to bounce ideas off of people that are your true soul family that are going to support you, amp you up, and really mean it, and not have any hidden agendas behind it. A lover that is going to be smitten by the ways you carry yourself, by the way you are, by you being you. In your job, you're going to be acknowledged. More money coming in. More recognition. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, what the fuck? This is beautiful. You have been, what? Y'all, I will stop playing. Y'all are doing amazing. Let me, I can't even talk. And you know how I be talking. <laughs> All right, y'all, wait before we go. The ancestors said they want to, you know, tell you something. We know they're being a little lengthy. But thank you for hanging in there with Kyra and us. So let's get to it. We got our ancestor cards. What do they want to say? What do you want to say? Oh, this is beautiful. What do you want to say? We have Durid. I hope I'm saying that right. Hold the space. So this ancestor is coming through saying, hold that vision and do not let it go. I don't care if it takes years. Remember, time is an illusion. Hold that space. Hold that thought. Hold that vision of your perfect partner. As, 
as imperfectly perfect they can be, I'm hearing, hold that perfect dream job or career entrepreneur endeavor. Hold that vision of what your friends would be like, treat you like, look like, how y'all would vibe. Visualize and hold that space because it's going to actualize. At the bottom of the deck, traveler, move in a new direction. And that's what you're going to be doing. Moving in a new direction, all because a shift, whether you court and leaped to this timeline or because of all the work you've done for some of you, you and your partner, it's a shift. That's occurred. So now you're moving in a new direction. No more stagnancy. No more being feeling stuck. No more going through the same shit over and over again. Lessons. Moving in a new direction. So some of you guys are moving literally. And know that your spirit of God is right there with you. Okay? Or some of you guys, like I said, are just redirecting in a new way, a new job. Uh, maybe you guys are having the courage to start your own business. It's going to be great, okay? Don't worry. Some of you guys want to travel for work. You're going to travel for work, all right? So, that is the message, though. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Until next time, my loves, I love you to life. Bye.